everyone. I'm Stacy, or as you may know me, Nando Kitty Chan. So for 2015, there really were a ton, I mean a ton of great figures, but for my personal list, I chose the 10 that I really liked. I try not to add too many Mikus, and I don't really buy Figmas, so I decided to leave them out. I hope you enjoy though, and if you don't agree with some of my picks, that's a-okay. At number 10, the 1 7 skill Chitoge Kirisaki by Max Factory. And right now, you may be wondering why I picked this version over Alters. And although Alters version is very beautiful, colorful, and full of fun, her standard version always reminds me of how Chitoge's character really is. With a sassy smirk, open stance, and the right amount of pink on the tips of her hair. This figure is more accurate to the anime, thus triggering my love for this character. Her quality is spot on, and her hair has just enough splay to make me swoon. Though Onodora is best girl in my opinion, and I'm really hoping for a scale of her, my memories of Chitoge will have to do for now. At number 9, The Devil, Homara, and Nendroid. Now based on the design of Devil Homura herself, and the fact that we already had an ultimate Madoka, this figure was needed, and almost expected. Her Nendroid comes with all the accessories to display your favorite moments from the Rebellion movie, including a dangling Kube, a dark orb, and if you ordered her from Good Smile, you also got her ear cuff. She is the perfect opposite to the ultimate Madoka Nendroid, and every time I see them together, it reflects pivotal moments of their time together in the movie. This Nendroid is very detailed, hovers, and they have clearly learned some things about wing attachments. Come on, you all know what I'm talking about with Ultimate Madoka. At number 8, the Petite Char Deluxe Sailor Moon by Mega House. And although I know this figure has gotten a lot of flack for the base and also for not being an android, in my humble opinion, this figure is adorable, poseable, and good quality. Considering the fact that there have been a multitude of Sailor Moon blind boxes, that range from $8 to $10 each, that are considerably smaller, I would say her price at $35 is very fair, as you're getting a figure that stands as tall as an android with other optional parts. Though she's very simple in nature, she is also a fan favorite, and I would definitely recommend getting her over the 110 skill Sailor Moon Crystal, but let's not get into that bag of worms. At number 7, Harvest Miku Nendroid. It seems to have become a staple for Good Smile Company to surprise us with Miku Nendroids in the fall. There's Yukata Miku that came out October 2013, Halloween Miku October 2014, and now Harvest Miku November 2015. And she is nothing less than the picture of elegance representing the Mid-Autumn Festival in China. Harvest Miku not only brings cute accessories and faceplates to North America, but also knowledge and culture. At number 6, the 1-7 scale Carcaptor Sakura by Kotobukiya. This figure is one that I'm very sad that I passed up at the time because she really grew on me and from reviews and pictures I've seen, she just looks so big with her wings and gorgeous with a ton of ruffles and details throughout her outfit. At first in the promo photos, her face was kind of throwing me off, but now I totally regret not getting her. For her size and quality, she is such a good price and such an amazing magical girl to have in the collection. At number 5, the 2 star Goku uniform Mako. Finally, Good Smile gave Kill a Kill fans what they wanted. Not only more Kill a Kill, but also more Mako. This is a figure that I don't think anyone was expecting, but everybody wanted. This Nendroid always makes me smile remembering back to the scene in the anime. Mako is one of those redeeming characters for me, so to have this Nendroid in all its detailed glory just makes me smirk every time. At number 4, the Amaru-chan Nendroid. Now you might be saying, Stacy, this was such a simple Nendroid, but why? because 
This is the Nendroid that introduced me to the wondrous anime that is Hitamaru Umarachan, which has easily become my second favorite anime at the moment. Not to mention the Nendroid comes with a plethora of treats, a sitting pose, cola, and not two, not three, but five face plates. So even if you're not a fan of Umaru, this Nendroid still comes with enough accessories to make her worth the buy. Another figure I have yet to purchase but is still going on this list is the 1 7 scale Mikuzukin by Max Factory. At first, I didn't see it as much else other than another Hatsune Miku scale, but her design quickly began to grow on me. I started seeing reviews and pictures of this adorable Miku in her Red Riding Hood esque attire, and now I'm going to have to hunt for good prices in the aftermarket. Though I don't usually fall in love with figures, typically, unless they have that eccentric hair, this Miku is different. She looks as if to be a fun and well-detailed figure that would surely compare with the rest of my collection. And coming in at number 2, we have the 1-8 scale CL Phantom Hive by Kotobukiya. This figure was an insta-buy from the time I saw it, and if you're a Black Butler fan and either the old figures aren't enough for you, or the new ones are too pricey, <coughs> real action heroes, then this is the perfect figure for you. It not only displays CL in his latest attire, but he also gets such an epic base. If I had to choose one of the Black Butler figures in the Artifacts J line, it would definitely be CL. Coming in at number one, definitely my favorite figure for 2015, has to be the 17 scale Kotori by Alter. I am completely awed by the design and the flawlessness of this figure. She is my favorite size scale, and it feels like someone just reached in and took her straight off of the UR card. She has so many details, from the ruffles in her skirt, miniature snowflake on top of her crown, to the intricacy of her wand. They even took the time to add subtle detailing, like sparkles and gold lining. Kotori not only makes best girl in my opinion, but also makes best figure 2015. So that concludes my top anime figures for 2015. I hope you enjoyed and I would highly suggest any of the figures I recommended in this video. You will not be disappointed. Also let me know what some of your favorite figures for 2015 were. I would love to hear and check them out. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs>